नमस्कार आज एटीन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर यस्टर डे वी हैव ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड हंगर डे दैट इज द इरेडिकेशन ऑफ हंगर फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड आई थिंक it is good approach definitely for our human we have to think about the humanity but there is lot of hypocrisy in this sort of uh that this world day there are many world days in 365 of the year i think i would like to introduce world hypocrisy day this is because the human hunger for stomach and of that of wealth is insatiable nobody is happy or satisfied whatever they earn the lot whether it is uh, billions of rupees or the dollars or someone not earning that much or someone earning less but the human greed to amass wealth or to amass whatever they like this greed that is insatiable he is not satisfied nobody is satisfied so what i want to say is that you know the our earth is a, having a constant mass that means you cannot put anything into it you cannot put even a one gram of mass into our earth and that is a constant mass this sort of science the modern physics of or the physics of the modern time we have started from the thinking or the analysis or the research or the outcome by sir isaac newton he is the first of the scientist born scientist who could give us the modern physics and the modern mathematics his philosophy naturalia principia mathematica it's in a latin form that actually means the principles of the mathematical principles of the natural philosophy there in that principia he has given us or he gave us in 1687 and in 1626 uh babur he invaded and conquered and took the power in his hand 18 Ah, sorry, sixteen twenty-six, and here in England, what is happening or what has happened? That is, Sir so Isaac Newton, he gave us the calculus, the differential calculus, the integral calculus, the Principia Mathematica, that is, the principle mathematical principles of the laws of motion of the gravitational mathematics. of the earth the universal gravitation and other many other things by 1687 so how much lagging you know india the then 1626 of babur 1687 of england and 2024 of india so what i want to say that the greed the hunger is insatiable as we have earlier observed that indira gandhi she started garibi hatao so garibi nahi hata garib hadiya because the jawaharlal nehru what he started his administration whatever he liked he did whatever indira gandhi liked she did whatever rajiv gandhi liked he did whatever jyoti bosu liked he did whatever 
other chief minister and the present chief minister of Bengal is lacking, she is doing. So anything is controllable within that particular person, whether it is Jawaharlal Nehru, whether it is Indira Gandhi or whether it is present chief minister of um, West Bengal, etc., etc. And you know the communists, what they did, you know, they couldn't relieve the hunger in 35 years closing down 60,000 factories where the workers were getting earning and getting their food. So communist itself, their hunger is insatiable in their realm of politics. Whether it is China, what China did after as the globalization started in 1989, they became fully capitalist by bringing all the European topmost companies, whether it is in electronics or whether it is in any other categories of science and technology. What China is doing now is complete imperialism, but Russia, you know, United or Union of Soviet Socialist Republic was broken into pieces. That means Russia was also was one of the imperialist, imperialist. So only America is they are blaming, but everybody, all the heads of states of the countries are all imperial. So they are only after the British who has given us the most of scientific and mathematical achievement in science and technology. So World Hunger Day or the eradication of hunger is only a hoax and I don't believe in all these uh, sorts of slogan and so I raise a slogan, let there be World Hypocrisy Day. That is my way of explaining or analyzing the human mindset. So what I want to tell you in a nutshell that these are all the to make or to create a sensation which can never be solved because earth, its mass is constant, its area, its land, its sea, everything is constant. You cannot add a gram of mass into the earth, except otherwise some meteor is falling on the earth, so it may get some little of weight. But this, you know, the satellite and other uh, uh, space vehicles uh, sending to moon, landing on moon and be there, so some grams or some kilos of weight or some few more kilos of weight earth may lose, but that is immaterial. So everything is constant, but you are, your hunger, your hunger for your wealth and stomach is insatiable. You are never satisfied. So you have to learn how to reduce greed and how, how to, re to reduce uh, the vices and the sin. And from that, for that only a human has to be uh, careful, has to learn how to do that. Otherwise, there will be always hunger because population is increasing uh, in, you know, uh, geometrical proportion. So geometrical proportion means 2 becomes 4, 4 becomes 16, 16 becomes 16 into 16. So that way the population is growing. And in India, at the time of partition, the population was 35 crores, 33, 35 crores in 1946, 47 or something like that, but now it is 145 crores, now it is 145 crores. So how many times the population has increased, but India's total land area has been divided into three. Uh, one part has gone to Pakistan, west, one part has gone to east. So east and west Pakistan have taken away the chunk, chunk of our motherland. So that population is different. Bangladesh population is different. So total population, if you consider of the undivided India, now it comes to 200 crores. So how the hunger can be satiated? How the hunger can be solved? It will never be solved. These people, whoever is ta taking, talking 
and telling about these things are only hypocrite and I don't like hypocrite or the hypocrisy and I'm against it and that is why I want that there should be a hypocrisy day because the people whoever is there whether it is a communist or is a capitalist or whether he is neutral or whether there is nothing zero like me all will say that or will understand or will say admit that hunger cannot be satisfied and satis uh, hunger for wealth also accumulation of wealth also can never be satisfied and there will be hunger and it will remain and time will come when even money will not be able to purchase food because there will be extreme shortage of food in near future because all the resources of the earth is being utilized by these seven eight hundred crores of people the eight billion population of the world so be careful don't be under their you know slogan that eradication of hunger of course we must try of course we must innovate of course we can uh, we should um, inculcate our practices to uh, make more food but there is a control or there should be should be regulated that 800 crores of population of the world now in 2024 800 something like that or 700 uh, um, odd nearly 800 you can say the population so population will increase earth is constant is its mass is constant everything is constant five to six thousand whales are being uh, every year are being uh, caught in the from the sea by japan china and all these and there is a, a regulatory board to control the uh, whale fish from whale to lizard from whale to cockroaches human is consuming so how to control this human that is to be understood that is to be uh, thought of but these people they are not at all thinking this way they are only making slogan world hunger day re-eradication of world poverty and hunger so these are all the hoax i feel or i mean and so i want a world hypocrisy day i think i could explain something about all these things namaskar no